Alright, let's continue to learn Archmash and uh, today we're going to learn a really, really interesting one that is Window. And uh, the Window, well, I think uh, like 90% of the time is really similar to Doors. Once uh, you got door walking, 90% uh, of the time you are not, uh, you are going to uh, get the window uh, working and you're not going to have any uh, problem, uh, trouble with the uh, window and let me just uh, open a new file just to quickly demonstrate how it is done so first delete this and shift and a mesh uh, we can get this arc mesh uh, just to get the uh, screencast key out so you guys can see it more clearly shift and a mesh and arc mesh we got uh, like a room Okay, I'm not going to like a build a room from scratch. Uh, I'm going to just to quickly get the uh, get the uh, the wall. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just uh, make it uh, something like this. Okay, so you can uh, add things uh, on the wall. So first, uh, remember we can add the um, door. Okay, do, 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 do. let me uh, quickly. Okay, the door. Okay, I can just uh, get this door group uh, remember it's empty and we got all sort of a mesh inside you just need to hold the empty grab it and x axis just put it here okay so it will be a door and uh, i'm going to add a window later okay and uh, once you got this door you can just uh, rotate it open and you can see that we got a hole here and in order to like uh uh, yeah, we it, uh, got a wall here in order to get a hole you have to auto hole basically just add a uh, a uh, boolean modifier so everything touches uh, the control um, base here uh, it will just be get, get, get a wall okay and of course you can add in a window let me just to do that you can have a rear window or panel window uh, I prefer rear, rear window so uh, I just uh, add this okay and of course you will just uh, get the uh, window group you can grab it x axis go to here grab it uh, z axis move it up you can even scale it x axis something like that uh, z axis doesn't really matter okay uh, you can scale it up and of course you can just uh, grab it x axis just to open this window slide it open but you can see uh, we can't uh, like uh, see through it that's because you need to like auto hold it really simple one okay you can grab it and uh, dead x-axis something like that you can slide it okay really really simple and still you can uh, see through it that's because if you look at here we got two body modifier here so one is for the door okay we got this door uh, the other is for the uh, window okay so uh, it's not redundant it's just the two things that uh, doing separate objects of course you can like put everything inside of a uh, collection and just use uh, one but uh, I prefer to like make it separate so I can get more control okay so once you got a window you can do something like this okay so you can select the window and you can change the window like a uh, frame okay you can change the uh, size of the frame and uh, you can like uh, change the rotation something like that but uh, once you like do that as you, as, as you guys can see just uh, like a completely go back to this default one okay and of course you can uh, you can add some like the uh, let me just uh, okay external frame create handle okay you can like a uh, delete this handle you can delete this external frame something like that uh, I'm going to just go with the uh, default one so I can like a uh, further further like a uh, uh, using the, the modification okay depths we can make it something like a really crazy sort of depths uh, but uh, I prefer to like make it uh, something like this and make it higher okay so really big window you can have a rotation okay but uh, I prefer not to do it uh, unless uh, the whole wall is uh, like a rotator a little bit okay you can even add blind to it okay and blind is um, uh, I believe that we can uh, quickly do that um, by hand, but uh, still you can you, you can you know uh, do this uh, uh, like a you know uh, just using the uh, the modifier. Okay, I believe that uh, if we look at here, we can like adjust the uh, extent. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that's uh, just too much. That's definitely too much. Uh, you can uh, make it extended or not 
something like that. You can uh, make it not so separated, something like that. Or uh, and you can like extend the blind down a little bit. And of course, you can you know uh, just to rotate it, just to make it blind like inside. Okay, uh, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter as long as you just get hold of this whole group to rotate the Z axis 180 degree. Okay, so you can like uh, flip this. Okay, and you can just grab it, maybe uh, you know Y axis to make it inside, and then you can uh, get the uh, the blind uh, uh, edited. Okay, really, really simple one, and uh, just some uh, you know um, some quick review. Of what you have learned in Archimash, so everything in Archimash is uh, uh, like um, initialized with an empty object. As a parent, I've got all sort of object inside, and uh, uh, in order to like uh, carve a hole, you have to use a boolean modifier, whether manually or you uh, like uh, uh, automatically generate that, and uh, all that is controlled by this control hole. Okay, control hold, control hold, it. Zero, zero, 001, zero, zero, 002, all that. Okay, and uh, yeah, of course, you can, uh, you, can, you can do all sort of uh, uh, changes by, you know, uh, uh, play around with, with all this. Uh, I, I don't think it's a uh, need further uh, explaining, okay? Uh, it's just, uh, you know, uh, I just show you that it can be done this way. I, I previously like to make a tutorial how, how to do the window from scratch. Uh, but uh, clearly, uh, we already got like a default plugin to do that. So that that's that's, that's, that's brilliant. It can save you a lot of time. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and see you next video. Bye.